looking real good. I got a T-bone. Oh, man. Illusionarium. I had to turn the resolution down to 1080p. Hopefully it comes out okay. Um, so it's uh, 815 on the tour. I think starts at 820. It's a two hour tour. <laughs> and uh, I'm supposed to see different parts of the ship. So see how this comes out. Come along. We didn't go to the Illusionarium show. Uh, 
100 place of melon, 100 place of uh, you know, grape fruit, everything will be 100 approximate. So we know that once we open the restaurant, we expect at least minimum 50 to 100 people coming to both the restaurants. So what we do is, later on we just check our production and as we need them, we prepare them. Otherwise, we can stop them there basically. Followed by that, we have the egg section. All the eggs will be prepped a la menu, that means last minute. When you sit down, when you place in your order, you want scrambled leg or sunny side or something, as that is the time the waiters come to us with a ticket and my chef is going to prepare for you guys. So that is the only thing, it takes a while. Followed by lunch service and dinner service. Lunch is approximately the same way, but less production. So the dinner is more of uh, higher production because the approximate 2,200 guests is expected for the dinner service. Opening all the restaurants, so we can have taste and sabo. For the dinner service, the main gun, the hot area is divided in five sections. Can you see no fancy areas at all? No decorations? Everything good so far, guys? Yeah. Perfect, guys. This is deck five, guys. We are getting now to the probation area on deck number four. We went up to forward. Remember, guys, pictures are not available. Oh, I will. Okay. Oh. But on the patch that uh, we used, the last page was one kind of small thing of the shopping list that we have here. We're out a week. We're carrying up for two weeks. So this is in case something happens, they have to go. Yeah, because this this has been a hard time So the pro the provision that came in is for every week, for guests and for crew members. Of course, the pace of the itinerary is longer. We have provision for 10, 15 days. That depends on the. For, for instance, we are heading to the Baltics. It's about eight days crossing. The area. Depends the temperature of this one also, and also the timer. 
And as you can see, we have in this corner, we have one small machine that side. That one is our uh, dry cleaning machine. If you have clothes for dry cleaning, just present it us here, and then we'll do the dry cleaning. We have the light that uh, we have for the light and dark for uh, dry cleaning. We can do the dry cleaning as well. So as you can see, this one, we have uh, three, actually three different color of the trolleys. We have the yellow one, we have the blue, and we have the red. The yellow one is for already the clean one, blue is for the dirty, and the red is for the medical. So that we cannot uh, contaminate on each uh, other uh, uh, things or other clothes or something like that. We do uh, to segregate that one. Okay? Moving on to the other side, please. machine we call it tunnel washing machine so one person assigned in this area we have tunnel one and we have tunnel two but only one person assigned on this area so what he can do that uh, the, the washerman what he can do is just only loading and loading because once he load it here the machine will do the rest it's automatic all the chemicals the the water it's everything that's automatic the computer will do the rest but like for example this one as you can see there is the small monitor in here uh, this one's for the weighing scale for the one that you're loading. Actually, the maximum loading for this one is 25 kilos. Minimum of 15 kilos. So this one is 25. They just close it in the side on the, And then this one, the conveyor will goes up. And that's the time they get started. In this, this machine, we have uh, 12 compartments inside. There's a big drum inside, and it has 12 compartments. In each compartment, it will range uh, the duration of 2.5 minutes. So meaning 2.5 minutes from uh, one compartment to the 12 compartment, the duration of washing time is 30 minutes. 30 minutes washing time and 20 minutes drying time is less than an hour. This cold towel, they can use it again. It's fresh again. Uh -huh. Alright? So that's the one. Uh, that Very low. because as you can see there are the four numbers in here actually it's four person assigned to feed in this area uh, we're just feeding here the pillowcases uh, the napkins something like that and also the, uh, the tablecloth we're just feeding in this area and also there are uh, one person assigned on that side at the back just to take out and just put it in the trolley while in this one as you can see actually three person assigned in this area but that's already uh, before break so one person is king, it's all the way from the building also. Yeah. This one, once you put it on that side, there is a, like a mechanical hand just to spray it out and then, then we'll go into the uh, iron section and then we'll uh, go out to the other. And the last part, it's on the folding, it's already dry, it's already cold. This one. It depends which one is the, the sizes. We have the two, we have the single one. And one person assigned that side just to say, uh, separate the single and the double one also. We have different color of the dishes. The big one is for the group and the white one is for the guest. Yes. We're not allowed to use for the white one. Right? As 
you can see the five of the sword, you can see the other side. This block is flying in layer? Yes. This one actually is a little bit wet, but the house on the other side is already falling already dry. Yeah. You will see at the back the final results. Yeah. We're drinking enough. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. true. Yeah. By the way, this part is our uh, uh, the water, beer, soda, and uh, yeah, some energy drink as well. And on that side is uh, the other side is liquor, same liquor side. and uh, wine. Uh, that's good to see. Drink that much yet? We still have one night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we all get a uh, sample case to take home, right? Salam al Sayyur. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the cruise. Thank you. Oh, look at that Myers room. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Johnny Walker Black. I love this stuff. Rum Todd, I didn't know you had it. Oh, we have it. I like it in my coffee. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit in my coffee. It's better good. than. Uh, Finished the tour. It was great. Now we're meeting up here at Oceans. And I'm going to. Get some more wing. What do we got tonight? Tropicana room tonight? 5.30. Oh, okay. We need to know what time. Thank you. Thank you. What time we have to put our bags outside the door. Yeah. I'm sure they'll tell us, but we'll check on that. So Sue got a brownie cheesecake here at Oceans. Look at that. And I got this hot apple pie and ice cream. And I mean, this pie looks very hot. Back on, Yummy. back on KL Monday. So I haven't walked down here. This is deck seven, just outside of uh, Oceans. It's like an old fashioned promenade deck. Not crowded. I guess this is the best way to get from one end of the ship to the other if you're on deck seven. Deck 8 has one of these too. It's way different though. I think I showed you Deck 8. Had the uh, couches and stuff there in the restaurant, restaurant dining. It's right above me. Yeah. Uh, I got all the way to the end of the ship there, aft end of the ship, and the, the doors say crew only. <laughs> it's like I can go in this door here, maybe. 
No, maybe not. Jeez, what is it, one door? What? Pretty interesting. I came out here, I can't get back in. Oh, look at this. This must be one of the main tenders that they use. Let's see inside of it. Shuffleboard. Seven. Front. Forward for the main cut. Big shuffleboard game. Saturday night, last night on the ship, <laughs> we, we both have a cold, <laughs> so we're missing a lot of activities. Uh, Sue's already got her nightgown on. We've got our, our stuff packed away. We're trying to figure out, um, you know, they got these little color codes here, light, blue, gray, you know, to get your bags off, and I, and I didn't know how long it takes to get off the ship. The guys say it's pretty quick here, should be off in 45 minutes. Um, I want to be at Fort La Lauderdale Airport by noon. Uh, maybe have something to eat there and then, you know. If you get there too early, they don't take your bags, right? So I don't want to get there too early. But So anyway, so I did that beside behind the scenes tour. And that was really cool. The cafeteria, it fed, um, it supplied food for the Tropicana Room and Taste and Savor. And uh, it was really interesting. They had like an escalator that takes you down there. The floors are really slick. But if you can do the tour, it's pretty cool. It's about two hours. They give, take you through the whole history of uh, Norwegian, show you like the shows behind the scene, the dressing rooms, garments, uh, wardrobe, all that stuff. Um, laundry, let's see the laundry, laundry process the waste, how it's all chopped up and fed to the fish uh, that sort of stuff and how they're putting uh, scrubbers on all their all their vessels so that they um leave less of a carbon footprint cool. so that was uh that was kind of neat um so anyway this uh wraps it up i'm gonna put our bags outside the door in about an hour or so and uh <clears throat> hopefully i'll be able to find them. i have a, a lug lock a luggage tracker but it has cellular and I'm afraid to use it because I don't want this thing to incur charges somehow. So I also put a tile, one of those little uh, Bluetooth trackers in Sue's bag. So we're gonna hopefully use that to help find our bag through the masses of millions, you know. But uh, yeah, these little Bluetooths are uh, probably the best way to go. Anyway, so uh, that's it. See you tomorrow, I'll show you uh, Show us getting off the ship and the madness and trying to find our stuff. All right, later. The music's ringing in my ear.